Hello. So, long, long time since I made a video. Surprise. There are uh, frequent gaps between my videos. Um, right now I'm sitting in my new apartment. Um, it's not really an apartment, it's a bed sitting unit, which means that it's like walking into my bedroom. Only my bedroom is also my living room. And my kitchen. And the door behind me is the washroom door. Um, <laughs> I just figured it was a, a nice plain place to film when there's no mirror. Catching my hair in the background. Yeah, I'm... I don't know. My hair is off and... I look a bit sloppy, but whatever. So, today was my last day in the manual house. I moved out. Um, I've been setting up this place for, I guess, a little over a week now. I started moving my things in last Wednesday. Oh, and by the way, I apologize if you can hear kind of like a whirring sound. I have an AC unit over that way. Because this apartment gets disgustingly warm. So, I got the last AC unit, though. <laughs> I pity the poor fools after me who don't have AC. But anyway, at least I got one, right? Um, so, I'm, I'm just looking over my room. I have a, a crap load of things left to unpack. Let me show you my new place and my things to unpack. Okay, that's me. There's my, uh, my bed. My external hard drive has a big box on, uh, my amount of stuff, and then we have a floor. That garbage bag is full of clean clothes, actually. Most of those two bags have clothes, some books and stuff. The crate underneath there is like books and some books in the top one. And so I suppose I'll give you a kind of a mini tour. This is a, uh, you see, we go from the bed to the fridge, microwave. Pretty nice set of cabinets, actually. I, I rather like them. My one cup coffee maker, dishes in the background, my TV and my N64 is kind of hidden by the plastic bag there, but it's the rest of my cupboards. My bookshelf, which my daddy built for me. There's no books on it right now. Um, my books are in those two crates and also in a box in the closet, which is over in this hallway. Anyway, that's my front door that you can sort of see the corner of there, but you can't really see my closet. That's uh, the two mattresses I pulled off the bed. You see that stain? That's tobacco. Yeah. The guy who was in my apartment class was a smoker, and um, I had to clean up all his mess. Well, actually, my, my dad helped me. He did a lot of the nitty-gritty, scrubby work, and I did a lot of the peripheries, but, you know, it got clean, and... <laughs> Oh man, you should have seen the tobacco. We went through at least five or six bottles of cleaner. It was a good thing we had like fantastic and spray nine and stuff because man, filth from this place it was unbelievable. But as you can see, it's a pretty nice spot. Um, it's affordable for me. I'm going back uh, to school in September and I don't have my student loan or whatever. So this place is 400 a month, heat, light, cable, and washer and dryer included. Can't get a better deal than that, right? Um, I don't have internet here, but that's okay because I'll be at Mom like every day during the school year and I can go there now, or I can go to a public library, or I can go to a coffee shop, so, or I can go to the house actually. Um, it occurs to me that I said the name of it before and I never actually said it in my last video. Oh well. Oops. I only revealed my own confidentiality, so I think it's okay. Um, yeah. Things have been going okay, I guess. Um, honestly, they, they could be better in some regards. Um, I'm kind of giving up on Latin a little. Uh, I haven't studied for weeks at all, like not even spec. <clears throat> um, I'm having, uh, I have a feeling that I'm going to end up dropping it, which means I have to talk to my prof, which. I'm not looking forward to because I gave him every indication I could possibly give him that I was serious about this <clears throat> and that I wanted to finish. <coughs> Sorry, my throat has got a scratch in it or something. I gave him every indication I was interested, I wanted to finish it, I was motivated, I was working hard at it, and now I'm completely falling off the bandwagon. And I just, you know, I want a few weeks of vacation before school starts again because I know it's going to be stressful enough with four courses in the fall, let alone trying to kill myself doing Latin in the next couple weeks. 
when I could just drop it because I still have my medical note from when I was going to drop it before. So, I mean, it would still be valid, right? Um, yeah. Uh, I guess I will admit that I'm not doing so hot on the ED front. Um, I don't know. Behaviors and trying to uh, possibly get into the outpatient program for EDs here in my province. Um, I'm pretty nervous about the whole thing. Not really sure that I need it or that I want it. But if this gets much worse, uh, sorry for scrambling my words, but if this gets much worse, I may, I may need it. I don't know. Um, I have to get blood work done tomorrow and all sorts of lovely fun things. Um, I was actually afraid that I kind of made too big a deal out of it, but I realized that, that even when I gave myself a choice, my choice was eating disorder. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm very uncertain, but I have a referral going in, I guess, and I can choose whether or not to do it when it comes up. I hear the wait list is quite long. Um, but other than that, though, I mean, things aren't really going that bad. I've got my, my own place, no parents to bother me, no negative atmosphere, I'm not in the program anymore, so I have my own free time, do whatever I want, um, you know, could be a lot worse. I'm, I'm not suicidal anymore, and I'm not self injuring and I'm not actually purging that much either. So, you know, you can, you can take your guesses at what's left, but I just don't want to talk about it, really. Um, I'm not proud of it. Uh, it's just something I feel like I, I need to do right now. And, yeah, that's pretty much it. So, there goes my little brief update. And I guess I'll try to upload it when I go to the university in, I don't know, 15 minutes? Anyway, bye-bye.